Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I want to talk about a utility application that I've been using for many years now to help keep the storage on my Mac devices under control, and that's Daisy Disk. With your new operating system around the corner, it's always a good idea to use this opportunity to spring clean your machine, especially when you're doing an in-place upgrade, and Daisy Disk makes this whole process quick and easy. Let's take a look at how it works. So first of all, as ever, it's always a good idea to look at where you can get it from and how much it costs. Now, Daisy Disk is available directly from the vendor's site, which is where I've procured it from in the past. And it costs £9.99, and the US dollar equivalent is currently very similar. You can get it from the Mac App Store as well if you prefer, and clicking this link will open the App Store for you. And of course, if you go directly through the vendor, you can download a free trial of the application, which I recommend you do if you're unsure whether this is for you or not. Now, as said, I've already procured Daisy Disk, and I'm doing this screencast on one of my live machines rather than a standard screencasting device that doesn't have very much by way of files, apps, and storage on there. So this will give you a more real-world view of what you may experience when you use it. Now, I've uninstalled and reinstalled it, though, in preparation, so when we open it now with Spotlight, I'll search for Daisy Disk. It is going to run now as though it's for the first time on this machine. So first of all, as I've downloaded this from the vendor site, I'm asked if I'm sure that I want to open the application. I'll click open and then I receive a notification asking if I would like to have notifications, which is kind of meta. But I'll click that in a second. Let me just close down this Safari window first so that we can see the Daisy Disk windows that are running in the background. And I'll allow for notifications until I know how intrusive they are. Now, the welcome screen allows you to enter an email address upon which you can click activate free trial and then a key is sent through to you. Now, I already have a license, so I'll click that option here on the bottom and I'll just enter my name. Then I'm just going to pause the video while I type my registration key because it's displayed in clear text here. There, that's entered and this copy of Daisy Disk is registered, so I'll accept the license agreement and then click get started. So this first screen is very minimal and it will display all of the hard drives that are currently recognized by Mac OS as being connected and functional. Now this machine is a MacBook Pro. There is no external storage currently connected. So we just have the main internal hard drive displayed and I can see there is 250.7 gig of usable storage on here. It's a 256 gig disk, of course. And it doesn't just have to be physical drives that are displayed here. You can add individual folders that are contained on the drives to give you a quicker method of monitoring and cleaning out those folders. And we'll cover that shortly. Now over here, we can see how much storage has been consumed and how much we have remaining. And on the right, we have our scan button, which will scan the drive and move us into the next section. However, if I just click the drop down to the right of it, I just want to show you a couple of other options that we have. So you can scan as an administrator, and this will allow us to scan areas that a normal scan doesn't quite cover. That's going to be clearer when we've carried out our first scan. And if we've carried out a scan already, we can forget the previous scan results and start afresh, which of course is grayed out at the moment because we haven't completed one. We can show this particular device or folder within Finder. I'll just close that. And we can get the standard information on the location by selecting Get Info which is exactly the same window as if you were to select this option from within the Finder itself. Okay, let's click Scan, and I won't pause the video here, just so that you can see how quick the scan is for this particular drive. And there, that was fairly swift, wasn't it? The scan's been completed. So what do we have on the screen here? Let's start on the right-hand side. So here we can see the root folder that we're currently in displayed at the top. So Macintosh HD, which is the name of my hard drive, and I dare say many of yours as well. And then the folders contained within are shown below. So at the top as well, we have a breadcrumb trail that shows us where we currently are. And on the left, we have a really colorful sunburst chart that shows us visually how much storage each folder or container is taking up. Now, if I hover my mouse over this users folder, we can see the corresponding segment on the sunburst chart changing color. And if I now click on that folder, the chart changes. We're in my user directory and the breadcrumb has changed at the top as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. 
you can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.